everyone. So I want to start with a brief introduction to plant propagation. So what is plant propagation, right? Well, simply, it is the process of creating new plants. And this process is incredibly important because it is what underlies agriculture. And if you had me in plant science last semester, you will remember that the world as it exists today is only possible through agriculture, right? For much of human history, we were hunter-gatherers. You know, we existed in uh, these various tribes, and that's how we lived. And then around 12,000 years ago, for a number of reasons, uh, we shifted from that hunter-gatherer lifestyle to this more agrarian lifestyle, right? We began propagating plants. We began growing our own food. And with this shift, um, it drastically changed uh, the course of human society, um, human evolution, and the makeup of the world in general, right? So when we began propagating, when we began growing our own food, we now, it was more productive than hunting and gathering. So we had more food. This allowed for there to be more people in an area, right? And because it was more productive, not everyone had to be a hunter-gatherer, or not everyone had to now be a farmer, uh, we could have this division of labor. And as a result, we had the buildup of cities, and people had different jobs, and then we had uh, advances in technology, and all of this that eventually led us to modern society that we have today, right? So, um, like I said in the beginning, without agriculture, we wouldn't have society that we have now, or the way of life that we have now. And really, that is all based on this simple idea of being able to create new plants. So that is what we are going to be looking at in this course. We are going to look at that process, that practice of creating new plants. Now, when we talk about propagation, we have two main types. We have seed propagation, which is the more common type. And you're probably all familiar with that, right? It's growing plants from seed. And we have vegetative propagation. Now, seed propagation is seeds are the end result of sexual reproduction of plants. And as we're going to see, that has implications for the traits that our plants express, right? The phenotypic traits, the observed characteristics. It has implications for how we manage seeds, for how we've been able to alter plants or breed plants through generations. And we're going to go into all of that. Now, vegetative propagation is asexual reproduction. And what's happening with vegetative propagation is we're either taking advantage of these natural structures that our plants produce towards this goal of asexual reproduction, or we are taking pieces of the plant, whether it's stem tissue or root tissue or leaves, and we are relying on the ability of many plants to regrow organs that are lost. So if we took a stem tissue, we're relying on the ability of this plant to regrow a root system. And many plants are able to do that. Now, the new plants that are produced through vegetative propagation are clones of each other. So they have the same genetics, they have the same phenotypic traits. And again, that has implications for propagation and why we do certain things. And we're going to go into that in this course. But what I'm going to do now is give a brief rundown of the things that we're going to be looking at, right, and how, how it's going to go about. So we're going to start by looking at genetics, the um, underlying stuff that influences ultimately the physical characteristics of a plant. So we're going to learn um, kind of an introductory to plant genetics. It's going to give us enough information where then we can then see how genes and how genes get passed down affects plant breeding. And we'll talk about plant breeding because all of the crops that we have now are descendants of wild ancestors, and they've been uh, drastically changed, as we're going to see. And we've done that through breeding to create traits that are favorable for us. So that's what we're going to start with, plant genetics and plant breeding. From there... We're going to move into seed propagation, and we'll talk about seeds, we'll talk about the process of germination, 
We'll talk about seed dormancy as something that we need to overcome. And we'll talk about seed management. And that includes um, managing seeds for breeding. We'll talk about managing seeds after they've been harvested. Um, we'll talk about uh, measures of germination, etc. So that's all going to be covered under the seed propagation. And really, along with that, we'll then start talking about the propagation environment. And this includes not just structures that we use, but also the environmental variables that are important for plant growth and development. And they include soil and light and water. And we're going to go into the theory of all these things, right? So why these are important. But then we're also going to go into the practical aspect of it, right? So when we talk about soil, we'll talk about... Um, nutrients in the soil and how to add nutrients in the soil, whether it's through fertilizer or kind of compost or more natural means. We'll talk about, when we talk about water, we'll talk about the importance of water, but then also the practical aspect of irrigating a field or irrigating a greenhouse and the different ways you can do it and the importance of conserving water. And again, with light, we'll talk about the importance of light, but then also this practical aspect, particularly uh, I'll go into artificial light and ways of measuring light and then ways of, if you are growing indoors, um, assessing the different lights that you could buy, right? So we include both theory and practice in this course. And then using all that information, so what we know about seeds, what we know about the propagation environment, we'll talk about when to plant. And this will go into a little bit of economics as well. So when to plant if you're growing for a particular time and you're going to be selling your product, um, when's the ideal way to do that, what you have available to you will influence when you're going to plant as well, the time, the area where you live, if you're planting indoors, outdoors, etc. All of this can play a role into when we decide to actually sow our seeds, and we're going to discuss all of that. Now, that's going to be the first part of the course, and that's going to lead us up to about halfway, up to about spring break. Uh, we will have a test on that, and then when we come back, we'll talk about the second part of the course. Oh. And the second part is going to be primarily about uh, vegetative propagation. But before we get to that, I kind of have two kind of fun lectures, uh, one on microgreens and sprouts, and then one on hydroponics. Both of these are interesting for different ways. Microgreens and sprouts have become kind of uh, more popular recently, um, particularly being grown to sell to high-end restaurants. They are... Um, if done correctly, or if you get linked up with certain places, you can make a really good profit off of microgreens and sprouts. So I kind of include that. And then I include hydroponics, again, as a different way of uh, growing plants, uh, kind of a unique system that's being done in different areas that I think you guys should be aware of. So after those kind of uh, two lectures, we then get into the bulk of vegetative propagation. Like I said in the beginning, we can propagate, propagate vegetatively through different ways. We can use our natural structures that certain plants have. Our strawberries have these horizontal stems called stolons, and from those, you can kind of see it here. Uh, from That's a stolon right there. From these, we have new plantlets that can develop. That's a natural propagation structure that is produced by strawberry plants. Or we can do um, cuttings or layering or grafting, where we're actually taking different parts of the plant. And like I said in the beginning, relying on the ability of many plants to produce lost tissues uh, to create new plants. And we'll talk a little bit about all these towards the end of the course. We'll go into it. And again, it's going to combine both the theory and then the practical aspect of it. So that is plant propagation. That's what we're going to be doing this year. I hope you guys are excited. I look forward to talking with all of you guys uh, going through this course. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully you guys all enjoy it. All right, I will talk to you guys later.